New Orleans. Oh yes, honey. I am so excited to be bringing the seat to your city. Ooh. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. December 10th, the Queen's uh. Supreme Court will be bringing the seat to your city, uh. child. I need you to rush right now and get I over there to www.eventbrite.com and get your hey, tickets. Because, hey, honey, hey, none hey, other hey, than the hey, mouth hey, of a sound, hey, Miss hey, Funky hey, Doniva hey, Balls hey, and my baby, hey, Super Sam, hey, will be on the bench. Hey, baby, it's going to be a night of reads, 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 and more reads. But we gonna bounce it out and have a good time, New Orleans. So get your tickets, get your tickets, get your tickets, and get them now. Child, it's gonna be one for the books, baby. All right, y'all. I'm on my way. Are you? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, honey. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. But, bitch, how you spending the Christmas Eve? Well, you better get your tickets, honey, because the Queen's Supreme Court is coming to Atlanta, Georgia. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Get your tickets on www.eventbrite.com because, baby, we're going to turn it out Christmas Eve. That's right. The Queen's Supreme Court will be live at Club Truth in Atlanta, December 24th, where my guest judges will be Nancy Bitch and Miss Sophie. Child, we gonna have a... It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So nasty Christmas Eve. Child, get your tickets, boy. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Because the seat is coming to Santa's sleigh. Is you live, boy? <laughs> yeah, is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this recording? Oh, what's up with YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grind the Scrub, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one. How many? Every single one. Who? Every single one. <laughs> A map just guys John Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl T S Madison I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from the Queen's Supreme. The what? The Queen's Supreme. <laughs> Which one? The Queen's Supreme <laughs> Court, honey. <laughs> and welcome to the December third. Uh yes. we in December, Craig. Yeah, I'm gonna the year is gone. Baby, my, listen, my, hold on, Miss Mary. Hold on, y'all, wait. Let's see where I'm with you. <laughs> Did you need some help? And then she go whisper. <laughs> but you the one over there asking her to cook fish, though. That's why she do making all the noise. You over there asking her to cook fish. Miss Mary loves me. Give a damn about that. You over there asking her to cook fish, and she did she already trying to cook for for the other folks that's coming here tonight. Well, the one seafood is coming though. So who's she cooking for? I don't know. I done told her. Miss Mary, who else she cooking for? Tomorrow. <laughs> she cooking for tomorrow. So full of it. Do your show. I know how to be quiet. Sorry, y'all. Please forgive me. Okay. So on the docket for tonight. It's a lot of things on the docket. We're not gonna read the whole docket up. Right. What I want to really talk about at this exact moment while it's sitting on the on the front lobe of my brain. What's that? Girl, did you see Arwa Kelly? Yeah. Over there in the, another country, beckoning those girls, beckoning, he calling. Africa, some, some one country, some country. Ask the girls if they had their shots yet. And if they had a passport. Or so, they need to go on and neuter him. Spay, what is it? Was it neuter or spay? What is neuter. it? Neuter. They need, that's a neuter. They need to go ahead on and neuter him. Yeah, that's a mess. They need to go. He done had his time, child. I don't think no woman is safe. Or man Not either. A girl. Girl, why you? Oh. Girl, you let the squash go bad. Girl. Why she whispering though? Hey, it ain't no use of whispering. Craig, you the one calling over there to go in there looking for fish to cook. She already got the fish. Anyway, girl. But this my thing. He needs to be. He needs his balls cut off. 
You don't think so? You don't use your balls no more, correct? So why don't you just let why don't you just let us have your balls? I do use mine. <laughs> Let them just have your balls, Craig, or shit. They definitely, he could definitely have my balls. So ain't that going over there? Ain't that going over those balls, girl, honey? Uh, baby, those things are balls. Baby, they done, honey. I'm fed, finished, honey. They're finished, me. Finished. finished. Girl, I'm just over that. Like, girl, I'm just, he's just, I think, like, I, and when you, growing up, when, when I was listening to Aura Kelly, I felt like that he was doing a lot of singing and stuff, a lot of sexual singing and uh-huh. things of that nature. But, child, when you really grow up and you start seeing that stuff, you're like, wait, man, this is a, this is a pure, bona fide freak. Right. He married Aaliyah when she was 15 years old. Mm-hmm. But people didn't really look at it like that. No, he was just you know singing I mean? the twelve play, twelve play. And really, a lot of people didn't even know that they were married initially. Child, a lot of people didn't really believe that. What well, a lot of people took what our our Kelly was singing, and just felt like our that it was girl. I don't know. I don't know what we are gonna sentence him to tonight. Cause our our co-host, our guest host tonight is Cortez. Mm-hmm. Now, if y'all don't know who Cortez is, y'all need to look Cortez up, Mr. Roger Dad. Cortez got old filthy mouth. Filthy. Filthy. And he always manages to get in on the phone line, on the after show. It's so crazy. He comes through with his little stuff that he say, you know. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen, our exclusive Patreon members are able to watch this show instead of listening to it on the um, podcast. podcast, you're able to listen and watch us. Movements, our eye motions, our things like you're able to see Craig swallow whole potatoes. But please follow my Patreon at T.S. Madison Hinton. And mine is Craig the writer. <laughs> Not too much. Ah. Not too much. Well, listen, do you want to talk about this Tony Braxton thing? Let me go down here in this, in this session. That's in the comments. Listen, I'd like to give a special shout out to my girl, Kayla uh-huh. Patrice Davis because Kayla goes each week and she gets those things she for the, she stuff. digs that stuff up. A uh, shout out to the Maddie Mobsters uh, in- Instagram page on Instagram, you know, uh, uh, Maddie Funk official. Like shouts out to the people that really support us or whatever. Now listen, if you are a member of our Patreon, you'll be able to watch. But it won't be this won't be on Craig's Patreon. This will only be on mine. This one right here, because this is what I pay for every week. I have week. my own stuff. Right, my own stuff. but this is what I pay for every week, honey. So this will definitely be not. Oh, I will definitely not be paying for this, and allow, and it will not be allowed to be on. Hold on, let me. The door is. The doorbell is is ringing. You don't have someone to do that to answer the door. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That must be envy. Oh. That's the makeup artist coming, guys. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we, we'd like to send our deepest and special condolences to Chi Chi. Chi Chi just lost his grandmother yesterday, yeah. and uh, Chi Chi's going back to Florida to be with his family during this time of bereavement. Can they hear me, Craig? They can hear you a little bit, but you ain't really talking about nothing right now. Hey, girl, hey. Yes, but yeah, Craig the writer still on Instagram. My website is Craig Redstone. I have three books. I don't have a podcast, but so much is Uh-uh. Oh, no. No, Craig did not just sit up here and do a shameless plug like that. No, he did not. So do you want to talk about I don't endorse any of that, ladies and gentlemen. He's a scam artist. Watch your, watch your credit card's account because he's been known to double charge. Do you want to talk about him? Hey, honey, hey. Do you want to talk about this? Because she was on Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett and her. I don't know. I'm going to go through this thing. There was lots of things this down there. in there, too. Listen, because you like some of this stuff. And Tony Braxton said her ex-husband, Carrie, is a bitch for accepting or requesting alimony from her. She pays him alimony. Yeah, we could talk about it. And let's also, and since, we're, since we're speaking about men being bitches, let's talk about Dwayne Martin oh. reportedly used a loan from Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith in an alleged bankruptcy scam. But my thing is, how do you ask somebody for a million dollars to loan to borrow? Craig, can I borrow a million dollars? If you, I, like if I, if I actually had it. Well, you have to understand that those people are millionaires. Like, that's not... But that's, that's not... But still, that's like, how do you ask somebody for a million dollars? That ain't no money to Jada and, Jada and Will. Are I you crazy? That's like a cup of sugar, Craig. Yeah. So, Jada, I know... I did it, but what I'm saying is, how do you fix your lips? 
to ask somebody for a million. I'm about to lose my well, first of all, million. listen, you know Dwayne and, and, and Will, Will got a little furkin going on. They've been male furkin, frightening things. So it's easy for him to, to roll over and give his little boo. And Jada, she all right with it. You know they've been swingers for a long time. You know, that was one of the things they talked about on their show. They said that when he appeared on the Red Table Talk, he said that they were not swingers. Well, what were they? Well, he didn't go into saying that they weren't swingers. Did he say they was daggers? He said there were a lot of things. Miss Mary got limes over there on the floor. Did Child. you get those out, Miss Mary? She, she looking all in between her legs right for the lies. <laughs> it's by the Frigidaire, Evie. Just tearing the whole show up. <laughs> Miss Mary, just pull your chair up over here. Just tan the whole just show cut, up. Cut up the fish and everything over here. But no, they would. What they when when Will Smith appeared on the red table, he basically talked about. They talked about how there were a lot of myths or or rumors about them that weren't really true, about them being Scientologists. They said that that wasn't true. Craig, aren't you into Scientology Hell now? No. You don't stop believing in the I Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Girl, that ain't got nothing to do with what. I ain't never believed in no Scientology. You done stop believing in God. No, I don't either. And, had, and just had all this and ask my mama to lay hands on your back when you don't believe in the one. I do believe. I pray every single night. I get down on my knees every night to pray. Listen, I'm glad you added to pray in there. I really quickly because I know what you were going to I'm glad you added to pray. Hold on. Cortez is calling me. Hold on. Hey, Cortez. Hey, uh, we we in the room. It's it's real nice. I, I know. That's what I, that's what that's what the TS gives. What you got? You on nasty, sweet girl? <laughs> it's it's nice, honey. Y'all think it's love me. Yeah, uh, right. That, but that's how the TS the TS takes care of her. That she takes care of her guests. She makes sure that her guests have the nice things, girl. <laughs> it's, 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 it's nice, baby. We get. No, y'all ain't doing no ducking off, Cortez. I'm going to need y'all over here. Actually, they're listening to you right now on the podcast. I'm going to need you over here to the house in the next hour or so. What, what, time, what time I need to call? Because we need to get together. We need to, we need to do our thing first and hug and do all the stuff prior to. And then we need to get you here on the podcast because we're, we're lining up the docket. We're going to already been done pre, pre-line the docket up before you get here. And then we'll, add, we'll let you add one or two or three things that you'd like to add to the docket just to narrow it down. Because we need, we need to do a one-hour show. Everything needs to be in at least an hour format. Okay. Okay. So what, what, time, what time do I need to be over there? It's... Nice. it's no, it's five forty now. I would say maybe about about seven, about seven thirty. Yeah. Okay. Food to be here at eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 All right, baby. Tell tell the folks you on your way. Okay. All right. They can hear you. Tell them you on your way. Oh my God, that way, y'all. Yeah. Motherfucking queen of motherfucking shade, baby. That's what it's they. It's about to get real, baby. The queen of goddamn shade. That's it's what Cortez nothing. said. Tell her what to follow. Or we'll do that when you get here. And remember, don't do me, bitch. Do your hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bitch. I see you. I see you at seven thirty. Okay. Okay. Bye right. bye. Woo, Cortez said, don't do me, bitch, do your hair. Yeah. Nah, okay. Listen, I like that. Craig, okay, so also here they have, uh, like, this thing that they want to talk about. Uh, the the lady with the pine saw and apple juice. They they uh, Was that intentional? They mixed up pine saw for apple juice. And that, what, Craig, was that at a school? that was at a school. My thing is, it's an East Honolulu. Pre- this only can happen in Honolulu. That must be the scentless pine saw. Cause how did you? How, did how you, you gonna mix up pine saw? But even if even if even if it got out to the students, how is it that as a student, when you go to pick it up, you don't smell it? How is it as a person, you don't smell the pine saw for you? Saying. I think it was probably intentional. Child, they was down there trying to kill the children. Oh yeah, badass white kids. No, this no, but the kids wasn't bad. It was the person that was serving the pie saw, Craig. You're they racist. Probably, but they probably po- tried to poison the little badass white kids. You gotta watch Craig, y'all. Craig, I've been telling you to come up out of that. All white people ain't did stuff to you. Oh, did you want to talk about that? Look at her. Bobby Brown um, suing um, 
the Bobby Brown, B- BBC, and Showtime for two million dollars because they included. Remember that documentary, uh, Whitney? I can I can be mean. What was it called? Yeah, they used footage that um, allegedly, supposedly, they used footage that they weren't authorized to use. Well, what footage was that? Well, they didn't say, but it was just saying the lawsuit says that there was actual, I guess, like home video footage and like never seen, never before seen footage of Whitney, like in shows, concerts, or whatever. Were they, were they, was it some of the same stuff they used for the movie? It was in the Whitney Can I Be Me documentary, but Bobby is alleging that they weren't authorized to use that, they didn't have permission. So he's suing for $2 million. But $2 million really is not a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to talk about the grandmother that so, was... Mis- so then you don't want to talk about that? No, I really okay. don't. Go ahead. Let Whitney and all that stuff rip. I'd like to talk about the grandmother that was mistakenly booked into an all-male Florida jail because the staff thought that she was transgender. Oh, my God. It had to be some black-ass niggas that did that stuff. All right, so let's... Being go. messy, being shady. Her brows do look a little drawn on one. Draw on brows. Fish been doing that for a hundred years, girl. I know three fish right now. Three women she right does now. Look a little strong. So she does, So wait a minute. So you being transphobic right no, now? No, I'm not. Craig, you're being very transphobic no, right now. So you mean to tell me because you're trying to tell me that there aren't certain things with the gays when you do like this? What does that mean when you talk about the gays? You're there being some you're being very that look a little strong in the face. No, but so you're you looking s- soft today. I'm always soft, <laughs> niece, niece. <laughs> niece, I'm always soft. But this is what I'm trying to let you understand. You mean to tell me that because a woman has a strong face that she's a transgender? And you mean to tell me that because a man got a little sugar in his tank that he is that what you mean when you do that? Excuse me. So, Come on, Craig, man, what you got to say? So, Craig, you know you're a little fagalist right now, right? I'm a little what? Fagalist. So, you have a lot of sugar in your tank, and it's visible. There's a lot of Hold on, mama. You're I'm handsome. Is you're handsome, but you're a gay. Now, I'm okay with being gay. Now, I don't care right. about who I am. Now, right, but but now they don't stop me from knocking them down. What you're what you're being what you're being is transphobic, and you are also at this current moment. In your conversation, reading strong faced women. <laughs> I'm just saying that there are certain things, Bruce Jenner, Caitlin. Well, Caitlin is also a trans woman, though. But there are, this is a, okay. Well, how is that different from you saying, hi guys? Listen, talking about, here's the talking thing. About this is a woman. Okay. She may have slight masculine features. Well, that's all I'm implying. Okay. That's all I'm implying. But, but this is what I'm stating to you that just because a woman has strong masculine features that makes her a trans, and all trans women don't have strong masculine features. I, I get that too. I understand that. All, it's like all gay men are not. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm looking at one. I can go by the ones that I'm seeing. This is the thing, what I'm saying right here. So, you mean to tell me a woman has to have a size four shoe to be a woman? No, I didn't say a that. A woman has to have very Maybe, small. Maybe Williams wears an 11. We're, we're going to get on her in a moment. <laughs> I'm at her all this week. You, you know, I'm trying to set you up. I'm at her all this week. Okay? So, it, so you mean to tell me that, and, and, and just like. Just like I'm gonna get on Wendy, Wendell, Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus Clyde, Theodore, Spooky, L. Dover, James and the Giant Peach, Hezekiah Walker Williams. <laughs> Even though I've given her all of those male social constructed names, mm-hmm. I've never took away the fact that she's a woman. Even though I've given her those male social constructed names. Number one. I never call her a man because she's not a man. Allegedly. I've never called her a man. I said she's built like a man. She has baseball bat legs like a man. She has oversized knees like a man. (laughs) However. However, she's a woman. I've given her women, excuse me, male social, socially constructed names Wendy, Wendell, Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus, Clyde, Theodos, Pookie, L. Dover, James and the Giant Peach, Hezekiah Walker Williams. I have given them, but, I, but, but her proper pronoun is she. And had she been locked up, she does need to be in a cell alone because I'm still confused about those knees. If she could stand. <laughs> Mrs. Mary, what were you about to say? I was going to say that there's many times me and Buddha have been out and I've seen a lot of women, full female, 
want, want women that look like they're trans women. So how is that different from what I just but, said? No, but what you're but, equating masculine and no. Yes, you are. Well, Miss Mary, yes, you are, Craig. I will be the judge. But Miss yeah. Mary, what are you saying when there's, you saw them? There's, there are some women that I thought that they was men. And they why did you think they, like they, they were? Because they, they look, they look more. Okay, so, so you are equating. That's what I'm saying. You're, 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 you're e- the tra- there's some trans women look more feminine. I agree. Than, than women. Every other Tuesday, she really gives fit. Right, every other Tuesday. But baby, Monday through Monday, I'm always fish. But every other Tuesday, I might step it up. Ah, Just to stay. Step it up. Fish. Step it up. But what I'm saying to you, Craig, is you cannot equate ma- ma- I know. masculine features, masculine, because there are some women that look like their dad. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And like like when women have really square jawlines. And just like Miss Mary, I watch her in the morning get up and shave. But I know that she is a woman. <laughs> you just, I don't shave. <laughs> she, she I cut little whiskers that might be on the side of my... Uh, what are they, Miss Mary? Whiskers? Whiskers or whatever you whiskers. want to call it. The little, the little gray hair. Girl, I don't see Miss Mary get up in the board and take that razor blade and go up out of that neck like that and get all that mess there, all that beard down there. Let me make it. You ain't shaving me by saying that because there are many women that have to do that. Have that have to... But, Mommy... I can't use the, that near or whatever. Near. Okay, but this is all... But all I'm... get you some beat. It's, it's but all I'm saying to you... I don't know it's, it's like near. But, but all I'm saying to you... Craig is this girl you have driven your point home you still didn't show me what you had sent me the promo for I will I give me a you. moment you see how she circumnavigated that we will I'm just saying that you cannot equate big hands girl I don't big equate that. feet but what I'm saying you cannot is, equate small hands big hands and big feet to, to femininity uh, to masculinity and big small hands and small feet to femininity you I can't agree. equate that but I was just simply saying looking at her face she does look real strong that woman does not look like no man nowhere I'm not what I'm saying ain't got nothing to do with their hands or their feet or their none of that it's, it's their looks their their features that looks like okay. Well, there about. there are some women that have. I I met a woman once in my life that had an Adam's apple. Well, I thought it was an Adam's apple. <laughs> Her name was Sherelle. And I said Sherelle. <laughs> how do you know how much I hate you? I said Sherelle. I want to know something. We're friends. <laughs> Where you previously in a, in a former life with a former life, Shadrick, <laughs> Shane, where you, because you have an Adam's apple. She says, she said, Tim. Oh my God! I know I have an Adam's apple, but I'm a woman. Like I was born a, I was born a woman. I, my, my, I, I have a period. I'm a woman. I said, well, girl. You might need to get that check, Deese. You might have swallowed oh something that got stuck, girl, but you have an Adam's apple. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've been getting the big question of the night, and we're going to cut it off here, and you guys will just have to watch after. We're not going to be doing all this long stuff. And, the, of course, the menu for the, and then, yeah, the Bush funeral. Yeah, we're going to talk about the menu when they got to watch the show. They're going to get the menus. Mm-hmm. Because uh, we were supposed to be in charge of doing the the home going services, but I got real busy, <laughs> so I told her I'd only be able to commit to making the menu. Right, because we try to get to New Orleans. For yeah, the show we got to get to New Orleans, honey. You know, we got time for that. We got time to, you know. But I've been getting the major question, and the major question has been: Are you putting Funky Diva on the docket? <laughs> on the docket. <laughs> Yes, Funky Daniva is being called to the stand <laughs> tonight. But Funky Daniva is a comedian. I'm going to call Funky Daniva in the stand to to not to to prosecute and defend at the same time. For me, Craig, I'm listening. 
Darnie was quick with it. I said this right. earlier. Right. And when you quick with it, you're not thinking you about. Always process it. You you're not. You're just quick with it, and it's just what it is. I do. I think that he meant to say that that Blue Ivy was ugly. Maybe not. It probably was. <laughs> it was probably was just a like in a spot of. I mean, you know, we were out. We were at the live show in D.C. He had his cocktail. Yeah, party. you know, it was just. Was yeah, blue eye, you know, you, yeah. It, 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 it was a bad joke that went in a way. You know, should he be held accountable for his actions or whatever? He apologized. Wow. So he took accountability on what he said himself. He took accountability for that. He apologized for it. And they sh- people should let it go. And I feel like people should let it go because. They sit around and call all. Uh, first of all, that meme that was going around with that little baby looking back like this, and that little baby, and the people were calling that baby ugly. They put teeth in that baby mouth. Every, it was on everybody's page. Mm-hmm. Cut it out. Mm-hmm. People want to say that kids are off limit, girl. When you're reading. <laughs> <laughs> When you're reading, nothing is off limits. <laughs> Sometimes they just gotta get it. They gotta get it, these. Do you mean it? Do you mean it when it's going on? Maybe not. Mm-hmm. Maybe not. Like there's been times that I've been that I've had I've said things, said things that you know that I had to go back and be like, bitch. I might First of all, if they could get into our phones and look at the shit that you and I send back and forth, to each other, right? But we, no, we wouldn't. But the, it, but listen. But here's to say, on the flip side of that, we know. The reach, yeah, absolutely, where it would go. So we tend, we will not say those things, even in terms of like, um, like when we when, when we have people send us stuff and it's like maybe somebody's shaped, like the way a person is shaved. We don't post stuff like that because we understand the reach and we know that very well that person could very well see it. I mean, because it, 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 it has happened to me before. Yeah. And then like I found it going viral. Yeah, I found a picture. Posted. Yeah, I found a picture online. It was a it was a girl. She was she was bad built. <laughs> You know, <laughs> she was. She was, like she was bad job. built. No, she, no, that man is uh, <laughs> would be angry that you equated her shape to it. That girl was bad built. Oh, just and, uncomfortably built. Uh, yeah, and Chi Chi posted it on the thing, and we thought it was funny, but <laughs> they ended up attacking my page. The girl found it because it's the queen's. You know, wow. it, they attacked my page and whatever, and you know, I did it. I, I, did, I thought it was somebody photoshopped it. It was bad built. And I thought that someone had like photoshopped it. And made, her look and made it. I was like, I thought it was funny, you know, but that she didn't think it was funny. And I ended up having this, you know, apologize for the situation because I really didn't mean to make fun because I'm not, I'm not a girl that can make fun of anybody's body. Not when I got dents and craters and lumps and. And because of the reach too. Because of the reach, but also, also but I'm, but I'm cyberbullying. You know what yeah, I'm But saying? I'm also being bag built a, a little too. A small bean bag, <laughs> but I'm being bag built too. So I mean, but I'm able to uh, accept the, what I have because that I'm in, I'm comfortable in my skin or whatever. Like those types of reads don't bother me because mm. honey, I'm being bag built. But <laughs> baby, I live in the laps of I live a very comfortable. privileged, comfortable lifestyle as shaped like a bean bag. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't don't have that privilege or don't have right. that esteem, you know what I'm saying? And like with the situation with Dineva, like I just don't think. Do I think he thinks Blue Ivy is ugly? I don't know. I think he does. I don't know. I mean, I think he retracted it. I, I think, think that he didn't mean to really put it out there like that. Like that. I didn't. I don't think that it was. Just, I don't think. Do I think he thinks that she's ugly in a, in, a, in a world? No, I don't. I don't think I think that because I said that Jay Z was ugly, which I'm not apologizing for that. Well, Blue Ivy looks like Jay Z. No, Blue Ivy looks. Blue Ivy has features of them both, and I do think that at mo- there are times that she looks like him, and there are times. So those times, do you think she's ugly when she looks? No, like him? I don't. I just think that she's looks like him in a way and I think that she looks like Beyonce and I think Beyonce is beautiful and I think Beyonce fine as hell and I think that I, I don't think she's ugly I really think that I just think she looks like you know how like little kids girls and boys they fans, grow into they're funny looking when they're kids they, have, they sometimes go through them awkward stages let me say that because she's, still, cause cause she's still growing yeah, into what she's long feet sometimes their ears a little big because they got because she's lips. still growing into what they she's going to what she's going to look like I think that she's going to be gorgeous I actually mm-hmm. saw the twins too I think that they're pretty 
I still haven't seen I Twilight seen them. when they were like little. But I get it that she kept those things. She kept her babies away from because mm-hmm. there are people like that. Oh, there are people that mal- do I think that be, that that Vadani was maliciously no. meant to say that this girl's baby was ugly, like in a in a way to stab and jab at Beyonce. No. no, I do not. And I feel like that it was just a poor take, a poor choice of mm-hmm. something to say in a moment with a drink in your hand. We were we were talking about Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Me saying Jay Z was fr- was not attractive, and because I really don't think Jay Z ugly as hell like that. I don't. I would be a, listen. Infidel. Oh. Now I do think he's bad built. You'd have her make uh, lemonade too. You- Three. Oh. But but I do honestly not not because I'm afraid of the beehive because I am not. But I do honestly think that Beyonce is fine as hell. I think she is. And I'd love the to girl see, is a star. Baby, listen, I love to see her when she thick. Yeah. That girl, when she thick, I'd be like, girl, I like when she gets small, I'd be like, Beyonce, you ain't got to be petite like that. When she be thick. Yeah. Beyonce bad. But she bad anyway, but it's like when she be thick, thick, like on that cornbread mm-hmm. thick. I like that. I like that when Rihanna thick like that too. She looks a lot better when she's when Rihanna. Way better when she started gaining that weight. Baby, listen. When Rihanna be thick I want like Rihanna that. thick too. I just I I just want Rihanna to have a little more shape. Though. Well, we want more music for Rih- from Rihanna. Rihanna makes her music she is makes amazing. Good music. I, like I want more music from Rihanna. I yeah. do, but we have her on the. Um, I don't believe that. I don't believe that either. I watched that video of Rihanna and um, Cash Doll. Yeah, I looked and at it. And at, at one time, it looked like that she was confronting her, but then it looked like, and girl, now listen. Because Rihanna did like this. And, and, and smiled and, and, or whatever, yeah, and you know. Because I was like, what would her and Cash Doll be beefing for anyway? Like, so what? I was thinking we could show that just so you can say that, but I don't think that. I don't think it was, I don't think it was anything like that. You I get what I'm either. saying? I didn't get that. Shoot. Um, get listen, that. How, why would she be scared of Cash Doll when she... She done been through the ring with Chris Brown. Right. Cash Doll ain't got no hands like Chris. <laughs> she might have hands. She may have hands to ice me out. Cash Doll ain't got no hands like Chris. Chris got the hands. You ain't see how Rihanna I was. Girl, I saw his documentary. His documentary was off the chain. He was. He was really good. Chris got them hands though. It's on Netflix. The shit was brilliant. But Rihanna got them hands too, cause she was putting hands on him too. Oh, absolutely. And he but, talks but about she it. She talks about how she admits that she provoked him. That a lot of that she. Well, she admits it now. She she's been admitted. I she, ain't never hear her say she, she yes, provoked she him. him. Yes, she has said that. Cause. <laughs> But I mean, he literally gave you like an in-depth look at before the fight, and after. during the fight, and after the fight. He did a good job, though. He, he did. made it all out there. Yeah, because you had never really heard his side of it. But that documentary, Chris, what is it called? Chris Brown, um, Can I Be Me or something like that? It's on. Uh, no, it's called Welcome to My Life. It was on, Chris it was on Brown. Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Welcome to it was My good, Life. I saw it. Yeah, it's very good. So you want to break here for Cortez, and then when he comes back? Yeah, we can go ahead on a break right here, ladies and gentlemen, for Cortez or whatever. But before we break, we need you bitches to get your tickets, daughters. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. And it's for several things. We got New Orleans coming on December the 10th. The tickets are available on the Eventbrite. We got tickets for Miami. What's that, January 14th? That's for Miami. And then we have the Dominican Republic for July 12th through the 16th, Miss Mary. Try to run the commercial Craig. <laughs> <laughs> New Orleans. Oh, yes, honey. I am so excited to be bringing the seat to your city. Mm. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. December 10th, the Queen's uh. Supreme Court will be bringing the seat to your city, uh. child. I need you to rush right now and get I over there to www.eventbrite.com and get your hey, tickets. Because, hey, honey, hey, none hey, other than hey, the hey, mouth hey, of a sound hey, is hey, Funky hey, Doneva hey, Ball hey, hey, and my baby, hey, Super Set, will be on the bench. Baby, it's going to be a night of reads, 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 and more reads, baby. But we're going to bounce it out and have a good time, New Orleans. So get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets and get them now. Child, it's going to be one for the books, baby. All right, y'all. I'm on my way. Are you? <laughs> oh, yes. 
Oh yes, honey. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. But bitch, how you spending the Christmas Eve? Well, you better get your tickets, honey, because the Queen's Supreme Court is coming to Atlanta, Georgia. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Get your tickets on www.eventbrite.com because, baby, we're going to turn it out Christmas Eve. That's right. The Queen's Supreme Court will be live at Club Truth in Atlanta, December 24th, where my guest judges will be Nessie Bitch and Miss Sophie. Child, we going to have a... It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Go oh, nasty Christmas Eve. Child, get your tickets, boy. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Because the seat is coming to Santa's sleigh. Is you live, boy? Go crazy. The thing was awesome here. Okay, we got to get this started. So what happened? You done said, you turned the thing on, Craig. Where's the... Hey, Miss Mary. Oh, baby. Yes. Yeah. Oh, All right. Oh. Short. Sure. Child, we got to, Craig, you got to start. They got to get the iPad. Okay, go ahead. 730, Lord. <laughs> Y'all, let me move all this. Move all this stuff out of the way, Craig. Craig. What is this? What's your bag? Wet. Is it going to be wet? You want me to it? I don't know yet. Oh, of course, you were testing me. I was, uh-huh. girl, I was having a technical difficulty. Look, we, we were sitting out there for a while. I said, Lord, I don't want to come in nobody. You supposed to the, the light was, the light, I was about to have a nervous breakdown for a second. And I was like, oh, bitch. Let me sit right here. Okay, let me spin this around. Hey, you little piece of fish shit. You ready? Okay. It's uh, something over here. See, you need to create not a little uh, chicken. Uh, What's your name, boo? William. William. I'm William. I'm William. Hey. Quartet. How y'all doing? Cortez. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Mary will fuck your name up. <laughs> <laughs> it is so pretty. Oh, it's beautiful up in here, honey. You think so in the house? I know so, what? yeah. No, I'm shy, honey. Yeah. Like, I'm in my ride care. The girls had to make a, make a way, honey. <laughs> Let me go ahead and turn this thing on They're right gonna here. They're going to her favorite wig. That's it, child. Like, this is that. I ain't wearing that. I'm the back of her, though. Uh, I ain't doing I that. Know, the back. <laughs> I ain't doing that. That quartet. Hold on, girl. Oh. <laughs> she was making that smooth and I don't say shit. You know that's and, and, like and that's the wig she had on on that go kart. Uh huh. Girl. <laughs> I stop. You mean that car at the Walmart? At Walmart. No, that ain't. Craig, you might as well let her go on and do it. She done started. Let her go on and do it. Cortez, go on and sit down right here at the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Cortez has made it. We told Cortez that y'all heard me on the thing. Tell Cortez to be here at 730. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man making a smoothie and all this stuff. Child, this be the real deal stuff that be going on behind back there. Yeah. I done put an old nasty, old na- oh, my old nasty feel for you wig on, girl, looking a whole, a whole hot foolish mess. But I'm dusted, though. Yes. I'm dusted. Okay, Craig, what you doing? You trying to eat? This is the problem. Wait a minute, what you mean? This the problem. This why, this why Miss Mary. This why Miss Mary got all this, this, this stuff going on. Cause Craig wanna eat fried fish. Fried fish. Making smoothies. Doing all of these things. Miss Mary, you so pretty. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. The showrunner know that this is the stuff that goes on in the middle. What you want? Show. <laughs> okay, but well. she got she got you over here frying fish and doing all of these things. <laughs> you were supposed to talk to Cortez. We can't have no talking about all the fish fry and smooth the this fish making is done. and all of this stuff going on in the background over here. You know this, Fred. All right, come on. I mean, 
Cortez, you were supposed to be here at 7 30. Yeah, you supposed to be straightening him out about I that. I done already straightened Cortez out about this because it's you that knowing Look that at Mary's going to get up, fry some. He's throwing me under the ta- table. <laughs> she all, up under the bus. She, the al- table, she already fussed at me. Okay. Where were y'all anyway? Having trade. Where y'all drive from? Mississippi. Oh, they done left Mississippi trade. Mississippi. They have an Atlanta trade okay. now. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Queen Supreme Court, Cortez Washington, baby. And Cortez, can you give us one of your famous lines? Don't play with me. Don't do me, ho. Don't do me, do your hair, bitch. Right, right. And leave quietly like your goddamn edges did. Yeah. <laughs> and leave quietly like your edges did. Okay, so Craig, brief. Brief Cortez a little bit about what we got going on about. Let me give you some earrings. Yeah, I look like a fat. Alright, so here's the docket. Baby, what's going on in here? Um, this Earring. is just promo stuff at the top. <laughs> so we're gonna open up with Bush's funeral. Yeah, some of these are viral on. videos. Thought it was a war. R. Kelly. Thought it was a war. 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 Now, you did um, text me something, oh, Cortez, that you wanted to put on the docket. So, I did. We did go to it. It was that little boy, I mean, that little girl. Yes. Being that was her stepdaddy. Feeling all up on her. Uh-huh. How would you feel about that? How you felt about that? It goes on in real life. Was you, as a little girl, at the tender age, how old are you as Cortez? How old are you? I'm 38. You 38? You look like a baby. Thank you. I'm 38. At the tender age of 28, when me as be rubbing all up and down your leg. Baby, um. Do you let your, do you, how old do they got to be to rub up and down your leg? What's the, what's the age? Lady? When I was younger? Yeah. When you was younger. <laughs> when I was younger, they had to be about 18. Girl, don't lie. When you was younger, they had to be at least 32 years old, girl. <laughs> Don't sit up there and act like that. You was not a you was not a man, a woman that was going after the men, grown men. What is was an eighteen year old boy gonna do for a young whore like yourself? No, I was twelve. <laughs> I was twelve. A young whore. Oh. I was twelve years old. Oh, and they had to be eighteen. Be, 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 oh, child. If I, when I was twelve, they had to be at least twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got this married. I'm sorry. I started early, girl. Mary, you get. Oh, I got my earrings. These the earrings I'm looking for right here. Yes, but um. So how you what, what that made you feel like? Listen, listen. That, that, look, hold on, Cortez. This Mary was making our smoothie. Great. Go ahead. We already got the blender all in the background. Mama gone and blend it up. No, I'm gonna respect it. Go ahead. Oh, it might as well. It ain't you. It's Craig. I will be devastated, Craig, after this is done. No, I'm not going. Okay. I will be. He gonna get it. Eric, the the then, is, Craig likes to take advantage of my mother's hospitality towards him. And no, in the what are you talking show, about? We'll have my mama fry him fish, make a whole bean, she asked me. bean yeah, dip, I mean, and all this stuff because Craig is Presbyterian. I'm what? Presbyterian. Pescatarian. Whatever it is, <laughs> you've dedicated yourself to only eating mercury. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget booty. Ooh, oh, Miss Mary, you hear that? That booty is definitely filled with mercury. Trust. What is that? That's an appetizer, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Before the main course. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Mary. You gonna have to excuse my mouth a lot. Okay. Look at these mouths. Come over here and put these down. in my inner room. So, my phone on the. Okay. Yeah. What else we got on the dock? What a dock is. Yeah. And you yours. got one for me and one for Cortez, right? This one is yours. With all of the stuff that you're going to read, I already highlighted it. And it's already in order, so don't fuck it up. Vincent showed up late today on the show. Baby, it's going to be one of those shows tonight. It's going to be a good show. Now, this cut off one got to go, but I ain't want to print it all out just to put that. So that's after that. That's the last thing. I need to see what's the last thing, Craig. So you want to waste ink to print that all over again? My ears ain't hurt. My ass hurt right now. These colors hurt your ass. My ass hurt now. Please, <laughs> 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 Oh, okay, 
Craig, let me tell you something. Tonight, you better not fuck off on nothing. Girl, my grandma used to tell me that y'all made my y'all making my ass hurt. Show me where you sent me the promo for Miami. Listen, you get out the promo for Miami. You 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 tearing the whole show up tonight. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, y'all, for this for the for this for the uh, for how this show gonna go with all this noise and things in the background. A lot of ethnic things happening. This is a lot of stuff. And for those of you that are listening and can't see. He over there popping that gum. He showed up. Don't say shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah. for those over there listening read. and can't see, Craig is really getting it in tonight, honey. It's just being so disrespectful. Tell them how they can see. Well, they'll be able to fo- be able to see if you're following me as a Patreon, honey. Because listen, you get this free, but to pay, but to see us do all this stuff, you got to pay at least five dollars, child. Okay. Y'all pay that on a bag of weed, girl. They pay more than that. They sure do. Right. Oh, Cortez, tell us a little bit about yourself for those people that are unaware of who you are before Miss Mary hits play on the blender. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a um, gay, gay ass comedian. Mm-hmm. Come on. I'm a gay ass comedian. Okay, okay. I might be a bush queen or whatever you call it. What? I might be a little bush queen sometimes. But what else you do, Cortez? You make lipsticks and clothes. Oh, yeah, I have my own lip, lip gloss out called Dick Shine. Hmm? For what? I got some too. You got some. It's called what? Dick Shine. <laughs> Dick Shine. Dick Shine. Okay, now I'm still stuck. I'm still. I'm stuck. Dick the butch Shine. Queen. Oh, can we go back? The Butch Queen. You're a Butch Queen. At times, sometimes. Oh. You pretty though. I like you pretty, Cortez. Thank you, boo. I can be a Butch Queen. Sometimes. How do you always you got all this on uh, the phone line? Uh, uh-uh, hold on. Uh-huh. You got all this exotic hair going on up here. Yeah, I wanted to be exotic. Are you a hairstylist? No. He, he, you he did, did it. Okay. He did it. I like this. He did it. You did good. I'm going to replace my hairstylist over here soon. <laughs> so keep your number. He oh, that's, 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 that is your hairstylist. Okay. Mm-hmm. My hairstylist, he trying me, honey, on this, but he's been good lately. But, 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 but look across the room and see who's going to replace you. No daughter, you happy or not? I'm trying to say, hold on, wait, let me think. Did I put some deodorant on when I got out? Well, it's too late now. I got some deodorant, babe. If you ain't got none, I got some. I think I did. You wear woman's deodorant, don't you? (laughs) Teen (laughs) spirit. You wear woman's deodorant. Girl, I ain't seen no tussie since my grandma wore it. Really? You talking about, is that the kind that you put your finger in? No, I don't wear that. I wear. Uh, the roll on deodorant. Oh. The roll on. You sense And you know I wear on. vegan deodorant. It doesn't have aluminum. Girl, here she go with this vegan shit. Baby. Girl, you know all that shit goes in your skin, you know. Listen, when you die, it's still. Listen, come go in your skin too, Craig. You, were, but you, you a vegetarian? Pescatarian. They only eat fish, Myrtle. And, and plant based stuff. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm really 17. <laughs> I'm but I'm believing Craig telling you. Just, I just really wish I could <laughs> really see. <laughs> well, the they crap. can see. The people on me. <laughs> Miss Mary. Oh, you look great. 42. Oh, you look good for 42. Thank you. Mm-hmm. What? Girl, it's just too much. It's over there. Y'all, listen, it be a lot going on. <laughs> it be a lot going on. And it smells like fish grease in this house right now. <laughs> Because Craig got my mama over there frying fish. So you just eat fish and salad. And well, I mean, oh, I, I know you I know you eat salad. I don't <laughs> I don't eat seafood every day because you can't, that's too much mercury and there's too much cholesterol, but I eat like plant-based stuff every day. Well, ass is plant-based too. Whenever you plant it. You're right. <laughs> Let that ass on of his face. Just make sure ain't no seeds in it. Oh, it, <laughs> we don't need no dingleberries. Listen, honey. Craig likes them old dirty, them low down dirty bush weeds, honey. They got a little seed in them. Nah, child. I don't need them. Girl, please, you mm. know me and you was talking to I that like boy. I like nice and clean and smooth. Okay. Girl, we was talking to that boy at the same time. Nice, I'm going to always keep that story. You're going to always try to keep that story. When we, was, when we first met, me and Craig was going to have a boy together. When we first met. Okay, so at the time. I, at the time, that's what best, that best friends account. do, though, because me and him, child, we didn't flip and flop the lot. 
Craig is my daughter. Even though Craig 42 years, 46 years old, Craig is my daughter. Craig is my daughter. That's what about raised kids. I keep training Craig up how to make a couple dollars. He's trying to fall in line. Ah. And then try to turn against me. Girl. No, I do not. Don't even and try. And very it. much don't appreciate it. And then don't stop even answer, try. And don't answer the phone. Don't even I'm, try. I've been no, see, the get... problem is she thinks that every time she calls my phone that I'm supposed to te- pick up the phone. Yes, you are she supposed thinks to every pick time... the phone up. Nobody is every time always going to pick up you, every single you phone You're supposed to pick up the phone because I don't call you on a regular basis like that. I right. When but... I call you, I call you by thanks for taking I can't to the say nothing because... But that's not always going to be go. possible. There are times that I'm at the gym. There are times, to the times the I'm show. in the shower. Girl, you always... But every time I see you when I'm calling you, girl, there's a new post up, girl, posted. That is that true? Ago. Don't you hate that? That's not true. You, you call some posts five I minutes mean, ago. On, on, the, on Facebook. 30 seconds ago. That's not always post. true. And I'm like, oh, girl, you can't pick the phone up, girl. That's I, not I, always I, true. I waited to the post up posted on the damn thing. That is not always true when you call me. I'm, I'm hitting you, telling you, put this stuff together, put this, put this. I don't bother you. Let's that do is it. not always the I time. know you got a new boyfriend now. No, I don't. Oh, you gonna deny this boy like this? I am single. You gonna deny him like that, Craig? Oh, what you not? Why you deny him for like that? You over here uh, uh, posting up stuff on your Instagram? Well, even if I did about have a finding person. love and, and the one that came and you wait, you was just waiting on the answer to, through the spirit guide to tell you the answer. Well, I ain't never answer. said that. But even if even if I did have a man and I was denying him, he wouldn't see this because he ain't on your page. <laughs> oh, I blocked him. No, no. Oh, I unfriended him. Oh, he unfriended me. He's not on the on your Patreon. This is on your Patreon. Oh. But this definitely right here is going on live everywhere, bitch. What the fuck? And I'm gonna make sure that I take this piece of this podcast and put this out. I don't so have that everybody can hear. I'm single. Miss Mary, you are very tickled over there. Girl. <laughs> you are very single, tickled. Girl. Girl. Not, not she's single, girl. I am honey. single. She's single because Cortez done pulled up here. Is y'all the y'all y'all best friend, not boy. Cortez, you came here with all that, all that over extra to send them lips smooth like that, bitch. Dick shine. <laughs> That's what's on his list. That's what's on your list. Get a piece of this dick shine. Yeah, it's the. It's, oh my it's, god. Dick shine. I'm for real. Dick shine is smooth, non sticky, and you can use it in the bedroom. Oh. oh. <laughs> Just makes your lips floss. Right. I think he needs some dick shine. He put something on his lips over there. Oh, comments. That's not good. That's not good. It's not good. It's not. Oh, Carmen's used to dry my, uh, it had drawn my lip off. It's not sunscreen. It's not. And you know what? I had wore it so long when I go like two minutes without using Carmen's, it chapped up real bad. It almost. Yo, it's addictive. So dick shine ain't addictive like Carmen's? Well, it's it's, it's addictive. For different purposes. Just try it. He said it's your dick shine oil based. Hmm. It's like your dick shine. No, it's not oil. It's oil based. Like a like, like a lube. Like a lube. It's like a lube. Yeah. It's no oil. And uh, don't you know somebody had some hater said it was Vaseline. Bitch, Vaseline do not shine. And when you um use Vaseline, it clumps. I'm gonna let TS Matters try this shit out. Right now on my lip. Dick shine. It, what is this? Let me see. What is it? Oh, but this guy's a little bit of 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 a little it's, it's, yeah, I couldn't use that. It's not. It's it's not glitter. You can feel. But I'm putting on another put lipstick on tonight. Hmm. That's safe to put on the genitals. I've been putting on the genitals since. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ain't had this shit tested with the FDA. <laughs> Bitch, don't do yeah, that. It's, it's, don't it's, you it's, dare it's, do a black owned a black operated business like that. You, you put that shit down there on your dick if you want. I told you. Well, come here, let me put I, it I, down I told you. No. I told you. Craig, come here. Let me put some of this down on yours, girl. Mm. You know, it's only it's, 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 it, yeah, it's 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 uh it's approved because uh the company that uh endorsed me that's right they've been around like five five years mm-hmm. and it's smooth it's smooth it's Craig come on let's see you how smooth it is it's real smooth it's where you want to put it and you can't smell no glitter you can't feel no glitter at all nothing pull that dick out Craig right now I'm not putting this on my it's about it's about Jay's the the, the company is called Jay's Gloss. <laughs> Ah, Craig, and, my crotch earlier. And, and you can 
And you can also drink something and it'll still be on there. Miss Mary, you were. Craig, listen. You to listen, I gotta stop. I gotta stop flirting around and playing with Craig because he gets too full of himself. No, I do not. All the faggies done told all the, he, all the faggies done told Craig <laughs> that he's fine, beautiful stuff. Yeah, yeah. For the tender age of 49, girl. 42. Hey girl, they telling him that he's all these gorgeous things, girl, that he just told him how to act. No, Mary. that is not true. Listen. What happened earlier today? I explained it. You only looked at that boy was V-cut by accident, girl. No, you didn't. Because he you got out the car limping and stuff like that because some nigga he met last night at the gym had to bust his pussy hole open at the, at the gym. <laughs> you know, he meets the men at the gym, girl, over there at the... Uh, Look, how about... Uh, how men at the... What's the people, name of them gyms? Got these people thinking that. What's the name of the gym all the gays go to? L.A. Fitness. L.A. Fitness. Huh? Planet Fitness. He died. Who's Planet? The, planet. He, we got a Planet um, Fitness. That's where all they hang out. He went down there to the L.A. Fitness child. That is not true. Girl, over there, let the men rub his nappy dug out, girl. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why, why I thought... Why are you trying to call all these men? Oh, you just burst. Look at the verse. Look at all the verse me just walking in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to have a good show tonight. Y'all welcome Cortez to the bitch. Uh-oh. Cortez, I want you to be loud, laughing, in color. I want you to be me. You. I don't want you to be nobody else. But I'm you. not. I'm gonna be me. Be you. If you read, read. If I got to listen, I get some I'm trouble read. all the time for you. Now. Just hold. Just cover your mouth. Just. A lot of shit y'all hoes say I get in trouble for you. Is that the doorbell ringing again? <laughs> no. See if there's a dope bed right in the I'm just, I don't know, no other way but to be me. Because I'm, 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 I ain't gonna get your house burned down. Keep it on, keep it on the blog. She kept being on the blogs and stuff like that in trouble, child. Honey, I got people just not starting to like me back. Well, y'all know, y'all know how I am. I'm just real. I'm like me back, child. I'm an Aries. I'm gonna just do me. Oh, I mean, you're an can... Aries too? I'm an Aries. Aries, Mary's an Aries. Yes, that's why we. Okay, Ms. that's Mary, why we. April the 16th. Mine's April the 14th. You two days before Miss Mary? What you doing in the closet? Did you come out a long time ago? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do over there in my closet? What age did you come out? Tears. Girl. Girl, I've been out. <laughs> Miss Mary, Miss Mary just was blinded to her because she was. Oh, for real. Craig and Craig was both. You see how you see how Craig walked. You see that slow gay walk. Believe it or not, I came out when I was twenty one. Oh, Believe it or not, you might not look at now. You might not. Uh uh-uh. uh. I thought but, you was still twenty one. I didn't know. You said you said thirty eight. I didn't. Know thirty eight. Yeah. You got a lot of piercings, Cortez. What? Do piercings don't get in the way of, of the things you need to do? Mm-mm. Do any stuff get caught off in the piercing? Mm-mm. Cortez, are you? Because I don't. I don't. Eat, I don't eat. Uh, are you a top bottom or verse? He's a side. I gotta be verse with a twelve. Oh. Mm-hmm. You, you said, said a size not, 12 no. shoe or size 12. I'm short, but I'm... Listen, you ain't seen BigDimbitch.com. Excuse me, hold on. High. You ain't seen BigDimbitch.com. Look at Miss yes, Mary. Yes, I did. Okay, Miss Mary. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Miss Mary. Miss <laughs> Mary, though, the short girls rule, baby. Sure do. Get you a man. Get you a 5'6 man with a 6'6. Six, six. Sure do. <laughs> with a 6'6 six, six, foot 6'6 six, foot, six, side. And with a hook. Oh, oh my God. Captain Crook did. Captain Hook. I'm sorry, me and Mary. What did you say? I'm sorry. What did you Captain. say? What did you Captain. say? I said it's Captain Crook. It'll get you hooked. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, he said we, we didn't flip trays. We flip trays. Please, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are tuned in and follow Cortez. Where Cortez can they follow you? Uh, y'all can follow me on Facebook at Cortez Washington. I have seven pages. You got you got to share the nice show to all those pages. I am. Okay. Let's do it. You got to do a watch party for our show too. Okay, I am. I will. Okay, do it Cortez tell them. They listening. Um Cortez why well, I got two Cortez Washington pages. I got a Cortez J Washington page. I got a Tiz Washington page. I got a Comedian Mr. Roger that page. I got a Mean Boys Club page. I got a well, Mind Your Business by Cortez Washington page. <laughs> and I got, uh, what, almost 500,000 followers combined. And I'm on Instagram. I, I ain't got about 8,000 on Instagram because I just started using it. Okay. Cortez, do you get banned a lot for the stuff you say at your mouth? That's why I got eight pages. All right. Well, we about to see. Well, don't get my page bad tonight, girl. Mm-mm. No, I'm not. But just go for what you know tonight, within reason. Because you know Dineva on the docket. 
we're not gonna read Dineva, but we're just gonna we're gonna come, we're gonna. I'm applaud. gonna get, get the. We know we're gonna applaud and congratulate uh, Dineva for saying she's sorry. Oh, she did. Okay, that's it. We ain't reading Dineva because we all say for calling fuck. the girl the little girl ugly. But we all say some fucked up shit. We do. As long as we can go back and apologize for it and mean it. With that being said, but like, but it. but. They saying it. They he just well, said. He, only said, he well, said what they, what everybody thinking. Thing. See that's that's why people can't take me because I say what they be want to say, but they too scared to say it. All right. With that being said, we'll say that all of these things on the show tonight. <laughs> and if you haven't watched it, go back and rewatch it because I'm, I'm I believe Cortez is about to let go and let God because his motto is what Cortez. Don't do me, do your hair, bitch. And leave quieter like your edges did. And with that being said, see you soon. Bye. New Orleans. Boy, yes, honey. I am so excited to be bringing the seat to your city. Ooh. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. December 10th, the Queen's uh. Supreme Court will be bringing the seat to your city, uh. child. I need to rush right now and get I over there to www.eventbrite.com and get your hey, tickets. Because, hey, honey, hey, none hey, other hey, than the hey, mouth hey, of a sound hey, is Smokey hey, hey, Dineva hey, Ball. Hey, hey, and my hey, baby, hey, Super hey, Sick, hey, will be on the bench. Hey, baby, it's going to be a night of reads, 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 and more reads, baby. But we're going to bounce it out and have a good time, New Orleans. So get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Oh yes, honey. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. But bitch, how you spending the Christmas Eve? Well, you better get your tickets, honey, because the Queen's Supreme Court is coming to Atlanta, Georgia. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Get your tickets on www.eventbrite.com because, baby, we're going to turn it out Christmas Eve. That's right. The Queen's Supreme Court will be live at Club Truth in Atlanta, December 24th, where my guest judges will be Nappy Bitch and Miss Sophie. Child, we gonna have a... It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So nasty Christmas Eve. Child, get your tickets, boy. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Because the seat is coming to Santa's sleigh. Is you live, boy? Ha, 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 ha.